This video will describe the MetPlus wrapper configuration variables that are used to control time. The material covered in this video is described in detail in the Common Config Variables section in the System Configuration chapter of the MetPlus User's Guide, shown here. The MetPlus wrappers allow you to set a range of runtimes to process. For each runtime, the wrappers will build commands to run the Met tools. The loop by variable in the config section determines if the runtimes that are processed should be based on initialization times or valid times. If loop by is set to valid, then your configuration file must contain the valid time format, valid begin, valid end, and valid increment variables. Loop by can also be set to real time to loop over valid times if you prefer that terminology you will still need to set the appropriate valid time variables. If loop by is set to init, then your configuration file must contain the init time format, init begin, init end, and init increment variables. Retro can also be used for the value of loop by, but you will still need to set the appropriate init time variables. Let's focus on looping by valid time for now. Valid time format defines the format of the valid begin and end times. It uses Python's string format notation and accepts any of those directives. A list of all possible directives can be found at this website. The example configuration shown here will loop by valid time from March 1st until March 3rd, 2020. The valid time format is set to contain the year, month, and day, so the valid begin and end values must match that format. This next example adds the hour in the valid time format, so the valid begin and end values must include the hour as well. Execution will start at 12z on March 1st and will end at 18z on March 3rd. The valid increment variable determines the interval between runtimes. The valid begin time will be processed, then the valid increment will be added to that time to determine the next runtime. If the new runtime is later than the valid end time, then execution will stop. The value must be at least 1 minute or 60 seconds. The default units for valid increment are seconds if no other unit identifier is present. Time interval units can be explicitly defined by adding a letter that represents year, month, day, hour, minute, or second. The supported time interval units are listed in the user's guide. For example, a capital letter H represents hours. In this example, the runtimes are processed every 12 hours, valid at March 1st at 12z, March 2nd at 0z, March 2nd at 12z, March 3rd at 0z, and March 3rd at 12z. Note that the valid end value is 18z, but that time was not processed. For each runtime defined by the init or valid variables, you can iterate over a list of forecast leads. The lead sequence variable is used to define a comma-separated list of forecast leads to process relative to the current initialization or valid time. The default units for the lead sequence is hours, so this example will process the 3-hour and 6-hour forecast leads for each runtime. You can define other units such as minutes by adding the appropriate letter. This example will process the 15-minute and 30-minute forecast leads. If loop by is set to valid, then each forecast lead will be subtracted from the current valid runtime to compute the initialization time. Here we process the first valid time, March 1st at 12z, for the 3-hour forecast lead initialized at 9z, then the 6-hour forecast lead, initialized at 6z. Then we increment the valid time by 12 hours and process 0z on March 2nd for the 3-hour lead 
initialized at 21z of the previous day, and then the 6-hour lead initialized at 18z on the previous day. If loop by is set to init, then each forecast lead will be added to the current initialization runtime to compute the valid time. Here we are using the same runtimes but based around the initialization time instead of the valid time. We process the first init time, March 1st at 12z, first for the 3 hour forecast lead, valid at 15z, then for the 6 hour forecast lead, valid at 18z. Next, we increment the init time by 12 hours and process 0z on March 2nd, first for the 3 hour forecast lead, valid at 3z, then finally for the 6 hour lead, valid at 6z. Again, more information on these topics is found in the MetPlus User's Guide webpage, including more advanced timing control topics.